What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Trey Sense here. Got a little cologne review for you. And you guessed it, it's my scent of the day or scent of the evening. And it is Z from the House of Zigna. Now, Zigna is an Italian clothing company, so I guess it would be comparable to our Calvin Klein or whatever, something along those lines. But anyway, this fragrance right here is very nice. It's crisp, bright, refreshing, uplifting, just an upbeat, casual scent. The two main players in the notes that I get are bergamot, which you know I love those bergamot, citrusy lime fragrances, and rosemary. The rosemary comes across as mint, so that's what I get. Citrusy, minty, cool, refreshing fragrance. And I like it. I picked this up at TJ Maxx uh, back before it got too hot, and it was like $17 or $18. I think I've seen, seen it now for $16.99. Uh, and for that price, I do encourage you to pick it up, especially if you like clean, citrusy type fragrances i won't call it a dumb reach but it is a very safe scent i could easily see this being an office scent for somebody i could see this being a gym scent or i could see this being worn on a date night or i could easily see this being you know worn just to spray on and just go run errands it's just a simple easy to wear fragrance what this reminds me of a white t-shirt or a nice t-shirt a pair of jeans and white sneakers maybe even a, a good ball cap just nothing, you know, nothing, uh, nothing dressed up, nothing formal, very casual. Just a smell good, casual fragrance that I think fits any occasions. I think it's a very versatile fragrance, as I said. I think you could wear this to the office. If you wear it to the office, though, I would go light on the sprays. I maybe would maybe only go two, maybe three sprays at the most. And yes, three sprays for me is light. That's very light. So I would, I would do that. I would go maybe two or three sprays. Same thing for the gym, two or three sprays. You could definitely wear it there, just don't overspray. And again, I could see this being worn on a date night. I think this is a versatile fragrance that fits any occasion, especially if you're a guy that likes lower end designer fragrances that are in that $25 to $30 price range. This is no exception. This gets definitely gets in that. It's under 20 bucks and it smells good. That is Z from the house of Zigna. Again, main players, Bergamot. A lot of bergamot and rosemary and it smells good and i think it's got some musk and sandalwood and all that wood stuff in the base notes but i don't pay that much attention because what what attracts me to a fragrance is the opening it's how it comes out the dry down i know is what you're left with and what you smell most of the time but still what what makes me like a fragrance is how it comes out when i first spray it what i get if i like that then i'm good if i don't it, i don't get to the dry down but that's just me again z from the house of Zigna. Expect to pay less than $20 for it. Don't pay more than $20. Pick it up at your local TJ Maxx, Ross, Burlington, Burks, places like that. Do not overpay. $20 bucks is all you should expect to pay for this. Projection on it is moderate. I say an hour and a half to two hours. Longevity on it is a little bit better. It's about five to seven hours on the longevity. So it is a decent performing fragrance for what you're going to pay for it. And then one last time, that's Z for Zigna. I say that every time. Z from the house of Zigna. All right, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Hope everybody's having a great, safe weekend. Thank you for tuning in. We're almost at 100 subscribers. When we get to that 100 subscriber mark, we're going to do a small little giveaway just to show my appreciation and a token of my appreciation. One last time, Z from the house of Zigna. Check it out. I recommend it. Get your hands on it. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.